wiki.easyvid.com. Search EasyVid Wiki before you decide. EasyVid presents the 10 best graphic equalizers. Let's get started with the list. Starting off our list at number 10, the Behringer Mini FBQ 800 Ultra Compact is just under 10 inches wide and weighs less than 3 pounds, yet it's surprisingly versatile and suitable for use in small theatres or music venues. Its low-cut filter removes unwanted bass frequencies. It comes with RCA inputs and outputs and was designed in Germany, however it doesn't have any XLR connections. At number 9, one of the most useful features on the Behringer Ultragraph Pro FBQ 1502HD is its feedback detection system, which illuminates a light on any slider where a certain frequency is causing trouble, allowing you to tame it. It boasts a mono sub output and 15 bands per channel, but the build quality is not the best. Coming in at number 8 in our list, the DJ Tech Soundgraph 6102 features 12 LED level meters, so you know exactly how far you can push your signal before it starts peaking. The sliders are spaced too tightly though, making it hard to move one without accidentally hitting another. It features an effective low-end cutoff and an intuitive layout, however the red coloring won't appeal to everyone. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki easyvid.com. Go there now and search for graphic equalizers or simply click beneath this video. At number 7, the back of the Rockville REQ231 Dual 31 band features a sub output that can incorporate your subwoofer into the EQ picture you've created for your mix, thanks in part to the port's dedicated frequency controls. It's equipped with one third octave filters and balanced XLR jacks but it sometimes makes a hissing sound. Moving up our list to number 6. The Art EQ355 is as equally suitable for the stage and studio as it is for a home theatre or stereo, especially considering its RCA inputs. With a maximum range of 12 decibels per band though, the adjustments it offers are somewhat limited. It's equipped with an all-steel chassis and ground lift that eliminates hum, however its sound is a bit compressed. Halfway up our list at number 5. With one of the most effective high-pass filters in the business, the Yamaha Q2031B Dual Channel is a good selection for anyone looking to minimize unwanted noise during performances. It's equipped with both XLR and quarter-inch inputs and outputs. It boasts an auto-mute to protect the speakers and peak and signal indicators. It fits in 19-inch racks. At number 4, the EMB EB831EQ Professional offers a selectable gain value with up to plus or minus 15 decibels, allowing you to make sweeping or nuanced adjustments. Its harmonic distortion is virtually non-existent, resulting in clean, defined sound. It provides good signal noise reduction and an effective peak limiter. However, the meter only has 4 LEDs. Nearing the top of our list at number 3, if you're working in a poorly lit space, the Clark Technic DN370 will still prove easy to read, thanks to a wide front panel equipped with black sliders and illuminated LED ring lights around some of its control dials. This is a durable steel construction with oil dampened faders and a 3U rack mount chassis. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. Go there now and search for Graphic Equalizers, or simply click beneath this video. At number 2, a convenient bypass switch on the DBX231S dual channel lets you toggle any equalization you create on and off. This allows you to hear the effect it has on an input without having to power it up and down repeatedly. It features a 4 segment level meter, a wide frequency response, and a high dynamic range. And taking the top spot on our list, the controls on the right side of the BSS Audio Opal FCS966 offer contour shaping functions for the low and high end, preventing sharp changes in gain from being too harshly pronounced. Output meters with 8 LEDs per channel help you avoid clipping as well. It's equipped with screw terminal inputs, a center position bypass, and sweepable high-pass filters. 
Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. Go there now and search for graphic equalizers or simply click beneath this video.